Hello, my name is Raimund. I'm, I live in Andhra at the moment, but originally I'm from Austria. Um, I'm a software engineer since 12 years and yeah, I'm really passionate about software development and I had idea or some passion is that everyone can learn software engineering. Also, there should there shouldn't not be some 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 um, stones in the way like like you have to buy a laptop or you have to be in this mm, you have to be, you have to have this social uh, background or something like that. You should if you're interested in software development, there should be a way that you just can learn software development. So for that reason, I. I also studied in Vienna, in Austria, and my bachelor thesis was about how to create a software engineering course um, to also include as many students as possible, specifically in rural areas where many students don't have a laptop. And at home, there is also not every time a computer. And during Corona, colleges were closed, kids were at home, and mostly the learning had to be stopped, had to be paused. So I did a software engineering course last year enter entirely remotely from Vienna. Students were in Andhra and we use smartphones. So we use smartphones to learn, practice software engineering, to participate in classes, to make submission reviews um, and to practice programming. Um, it was a huge challenge for me as well, I think more for the students also because smartphone is not that big. If the keyboard pops up, it's even less amount of display to use. But what was really nice was that we could just continue teaching. We, could, we didn't have to stop. We could continue practicing. And the students could solve their assignments and could continue practicing. So I get a little bit of knowledge and this year I quit my job in Austria. I came to India. I asked the college if I come to, can come to the college. I came to India and now I'm continue, continuing gathering a little bit more knowledge and a little bit more experience and working together with the students at the college directly. There are diff also different challenges like power cuts. It's uh, sometimes really hard if you make live coding session and then 10 minutes, then there's a power cut, okay, then we have to talk again, interact a little bit, then we can continue. But it's nice to see that the students are also really inter interested and they really come with the smartphones and um, show me the code on the smartphones and continue practicing. We also have now in the final years, the, in the fourth year of the BTEC college, we're also learning about Git. I'm doing some Git workshop. And we are doing that in peers, so two students making a project from semester start to semester end. And one, one couple was like, one student had a phone and used Git on Termux, that's open source, a Bash emulator for Android and Java N, Java NID, that's an editor for programming Java on Android. Those two things together, he used only his phone and his colleague used a laptop and they worked together. So it was really nice to see. And yeah, so I use also some open source tools, like I use Moodle for the learning material. I use videos a lot uh, to explain Java concepts because the students sometimes are in the class, sometimes are not in the class. So they can watch the class recordings, they can watch about the Java concepts afterwards and use a lot of open source software also for Android, like Termux, Spock Code Editor for web development and Java NID for Java development. It's really nice, um, for example, this Java NID got removed from, from the Play Store recently I can't find it anymore but it's on github and I can build it I can create an APK and I can use it it's really nice or Termux also there's one fork of Termux that goes more into details uh, it's a little bit it has more features so students can use this fork of Termux 
and use it. So it's really nice that you can, if it just gets removed from the Play Store, it doesn't mean that you can't use it anymore. So you can just go in GitHub, get the source, build it, or there's some other, like an Afterit that go, gets hosted on Afterit instead, and you can install it from there. That's really nice to see, that once you have the source code, you can really continue using it, instead of when it's closed source and it's away from the Play Store, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Can't use it anymore. About this conference, it's I just saw it on Friday on LinkedIn. A post there's force in Bengaluru, so I took the next bus and went to Bengaluru. And it's nice to connect here with people to get more ideas. I heard about Mon School. I heard about Tinker Hub. I got some connections. Maybe maybe we can do something in the college that would be really nice and spread a little bit more the knowledge about maybe doing something about getting more ideas how to really use a smartphone or maybe i don't know i don't even know at the moment if this is a really good idea but at least <laughs> at least there's some ideas and we can do um, include some more students without stopping learning and practicing and the other part here is that was really nice for me is that it's really inspiring that there are so many people doing also the same stuff and it's really motivating. I'm like, well, at home, <laughs> I will continue and I will try new things. And I already have a list of things to try and it grows and grows and grows instead of shrinking. That's nice. Yeah. yeah, it would be nice um, if you also try to Give a little bit back to the community, for example. If you're a software developer, maybe it's nice to earn a lot of money, but maybe give a little, also a little bit back to the community and help develop the community and especially educate young people, but not only young people, everyone who is interested. That should be really nice. Or should be maybe also one goal. Or maybe there are also other goals. But at least supporting the community, I think is really important.